thought it was a good first day. I mean, we uh, were just trying to get our guys to play hard, play with some pace, and thought they're giving a good effort. It's a little sloppy for the first day, but it's expected. It's more more important that we get effort out of them, and I think we're getting pretty good effort. It's long. I mean, we did a condition. What did I guess you got to call the skills workout yesterday, but. This is the first time we could actually use the full lot of time, and it's a lot longer than what they're used to going, but I thought we did a pretty good job with our effort from really from the freshmen up to the juniors. You know, we, we've only got the one senior with Beetle, and he's had like he got his shoulder cleaned up a little bit over the summer. He's not uh, cleared yet. He'll be cleared in a couple weeks, but he's the only senior on the roster, so to have you know the juniors we got, I think our freshmen are giving us good minutes, and you know, our underclassmen look pretty good today. Running, you know, not just up and down the court, but obviously uh, condition drills, you know, line to line. What, how important is that to just kind of get, to keep them active all the time? Yeah, I mean, we we do practice a little bit differently. We try to make it really competitive. They lose. We play a bunch of short, quick games to keep it competitive. They lose the game. They got run a sprint. So it's a different way. We don't actually run sprints to get in shape, but we do all the drills really high paced and then you got to run if you lose so we'll get the guys in shape by the time the season uh, first game comes around they're not they're not there yet but it's kind of part of the whole process Galen was out. yeah Galen was uh good and then he he rolled his ankle tweaked it a little bit uh early before you guys got to practice uh, they were a lot a lot more fresh before you guys got in here but i think you got the end when they, they were a little tired but Galen he rolled his ankle today He's day to day. He, he may be back tomorrow, from what Clark said. Do you have an update on tomorrow? You know, it, everything's submitted. We're just waiting on the NCA. So hopefully we hear something sooner rather than later. But no, no, no update as of now. What about Herb? He kind of like he wasn't doing. Well. Yeah. So Herb, uh, Herb practiced yesterday in our skills workout, but he uh, he bruised his shoulder, kind of a nagging injury he's got. So Clark held him out today just to get him a day recovery. He's, he's day to day, and I anticipate he'll be back. Tomorrow, if not tomorrow, we'll be back the following day. I was not there. You know, really, all the assistants are uh, going through the, the push-ups with, with you know. Is that just something that you? It's, it's not anything I make them do. That's them uh, wanting to get a little quick workout in practice. So, I, so, so the way we do practice, if you if you win the game, we play games to eight or whatever. You know, two stops, however it is. If you win, you go to the free throw line, shoot a free throw. If you make the free throw, he goes on the board for a win for the day. If you miss the free throw, you got to do 10 push-ups. If you lose the game, you all, you all sprint down and back. So the coaches, if the kid misses the free throw, do 10 with the team. If the kid hits the free throw, they've been doing five. But we're trying to keep practice fast paced. I'm going to have to tell them they got to get their push-ups done a little faster. We got to get on to the next drill. So. We, uh, that, that's all of them. I, I don't, I'm not making anybody do push-ups. Has that been something you've had before? Is that something yeah, you they do, we did that at Buffalo. I used to do them with them, but I, I got I to gotta get on to the next drill faster now. So maybe once everybody's got it down a little faster, I'll jump back in with them. You've had the freshmen for most of the field sessions, but how are they adjusting? Okay. You know what? I, I think I think their effort's been great. So, I mean, we got four of them. You know, Jaden and uh, Jalen, the two guards. And Jalen Jalen's seems like just the whole pace of college maybe he's a little bit sluggish and I've talked to him about getting getting better rest getting better treatment from Clark but he like their attitudes are great but you know Shaq's Shaq's been really good like his his body was ready for college his stamina was ready like we did a VO, VO2 max testing uh, the other day with coach Snowden he was at the top like he, he's he's in great shape and goes really hard you know his deal is he's used to being by far and away the best player on his team. So now he's just got to learn to play with four other really good players. So sometimes in high school, him shooting a, a bad shot was the best shot his team's going to get in high school. That's not the case here. So that's, but his attitude's been great. He's learning how to make make the reads and stuff. Forbes will get there. He, he shoot. He took a big charge in a defensive drill earlier. Like I, I love both their attitudes. Jawan's playing really hard. I mean. I, I think you guys were in here. He had a couple blocks in transition. He's just so athletic, and he's his physicality gives us something. And Ray's, Ray's got big upside. He's you know he's behind Galen, behind Javian. We can even play Reese some at the five. So he's kind of behind all those guys, but he's he's got upside. He makes plays here and there where he shows you a glimpse of how good he could be when he puts it all together. Did he 
envision taking the role that Rojas was going to kind of fill? Yeah, I mean, Reese was already going to be there. You know, I don't know that Rojas really never got – when he got to us, he was banged up already. He had some ankle issues, and Clark was – he never really went through a full workout with us. So I had never got to see him healthy with our guys. So I don't know if he would have started or not. That would have had to have been determined. But, you know, Reese is already kind of our perfect four because he can shoot it and space the floor, and he's playing really well. So Reese is going to play minutes there. And then we, we played smaller at Buffalo where we bumped down. I mean, if you looked at the teams we started the last two years there, we either started two point guards and a combo guard or, two co or a point guard and two combo guards, and then we played a – Six, seven, two guard and Jeremy Harris kind of at the four. Well, Herb Jones can play the four. Petty's got size, can bump down. Like those guys can bump down where we play small. We can also go big and put JV in a little bit at the four because Ro Rowhouse is really going to play like the four for us because we wanted to play more skilled. And Javian's getting pretty skilled playing on the perimeter a little bit. But I would anticipate us playing a little bit smaller because we got more depth at the guard spot. You get Beetle cleared, you've got Shackelford, Forbes, Kyra, if Quinterly gets cleared, so then if you bump down and play Herb, JP down, down, you know, then we're playing a little smaller, which is the way I like to play anyways, with more athleticism and speed and perimeter play on the floor. So I, I, would, I would anticipate that kind of being the case, the way we play. Have you seen like the team cohesion and kind of the, the, the behind the scenes kind of intangible? I think that stuff's been great. I think Getting everybody here in the summer, you know, Rojas was the only one that missed. Now he's not able to play. So we've gone through a whole summer together. We kind of did that team retreat, boot camp, whatever you want to call it. Thought that gave us a huge jump start on the, on the fall. And then I think guys are learning to, you know, they're getting in the gym on their own. I mean, look, there's a lot of guys staying after practice and shooting. You're going to see a lot of guys come back in. They've got kind of different groups that they come in with, but they, I think I think it's been pretty good. I mean, you'll have to ask them. They're the ones that have to hang out with each other. They give you a lot more honest answer. I, I think it's pretty good. It's still got some work to go, but we're, we're getting there. But great, great question to ask the guys, though. Let's do one more question for Coach, guys. They don't have one more, AJ. We've got them covered. We're good? All right, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it.
basically just like just like any other one, just a little longer. Uh, we went hard. We did mostly the same drills. They ain't adding nothing new yet. So uh, it was tough though. Real competitive and, and just just real tough. Like you're running, you know, not just doing the more active is this? It's way more active. Like every drill, I mean, the drills don't be that long. It's just, it be a lot of them and they back to back to back. So, I mean, he, he just keeps the blood flowing. He keeps keeps you loose, keeps you moving. So it's hard to just stand around out here. It's like all the shooters have a green light. Kind of like that. Yeah, we love it, love it. We got a bunch of shooters on the team. A couple freshmen that can knock it down. Our big guys starting to work uh, on their shots and knock them down. So he giving us the green light. We just got to work on our shots and we can shoot them.